I mean, it's a struggle, strive. So we strive against our own desires, is one, one kind of jihad. Yeah? Getting up for work in the morning is a, is a jihad. Yeah? Getting up for prayer in the morning is, is, is a jihad. It's a struggle. Okay. Now, if you're talking about fighting in defense, this is another story. Because everybody fights and defends themselves. The Geneva Convention says everyone has a right to uh, self defense. So every, everyone has a right to defend themselves. Yeah. So, are you referring to anything specifically? Well, I mean, I just feel like sometimes Islam can be interpreted in a. Okay, how many Muslims are in England? I don't know, I don't live here. <laughs> oh, how many Muslims in America? Five million, six million maybe? maybe yeah. Are they all terrorizing everyone? No, Do you no, know what happened? No. Yeah, they're, they're... So if you say if Islam was this religion of violence and terror... What your opinion of them is? Do you think they're interpreting God incorrectly? Of oh, who? Which one? Let's be specific. You people have to be specific. People that are like, you know, using Islam... So you see the argument he gave, many people think that Muslims are... Violent, you know, as we said, violent. What does violent mean again? Violent is like punching someone, like hitting pushing someone, someone. Physically doing some harm to someone. So many people think Muslims are like that, but he just gave him the example. He said millions of Muslims are in England, millions of Muslims in America, Muslim, millions of Muslims in other countries. You don't hear anything. Do you understand? Yeah, it's just that for one percent, zero point zero 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 one percent or so of people who may not even be Muslim, yeah, who might be doing bad stuff. And even they are most likely paid mercenaries. So many countries, yeah, Western countries, they pay money, America, Europe, England, they pay money to these people to cause problems in certain countries. So it's not Muslims who are doing it, they're doing it in the name of Islam, or they, they show themselves as Muslims. I hope I'm doing an exclamation mark. This is exclamation mark, okay? Maybe we'll write it down and show it to you. So, well, that's not very professional. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, so basically, you know, um, that proves to us that Islam is not the one that's the bad thing, it's just that it's politics. You know what politics is? No. You don't know what politics is? Politics is uh, bad stuff? Politics, yeah, it's all bad, really. There's no such thing as good politics. I, say, I, I think I she think summarized yes. it in the best way possible. All politics is bad. So, no, basically, politics is the people who are governing, who are the government. Yeah, they're ruling everything. And they, yeah, but... they are all, most like, mostly all of them are bad. Because they're all covered, they're all controlled by big companies. Yeah, big companies want to make money. And money is made by doing bad things. The more bad things you do, the more money they make. Okay? That's another thing for another day. But Papa, I want to know, how does someone know that they're going to be born a government? What? How do they know they're gonna be they're gonna be born a government? They like, don't know. You don't. You work your way up. You work in the government. People uh, act like they're normal people, but mostly rich people who are very bad become the gov the the gov people in the government. Mostly, um, not not all of them. So I was being a bit, I was making a little joke, but not all of them, but most of them are usually quite bad people. Okay. The one that's really and, and bad. In, in Islam, we say, according to Quran and hadith people are leaders government are are like their people if the people are bad the government will be bad if the people are good the government will be good so that's why when the all the prophets when they came to uh, uh, to change the world what did they do they to change the people but there was no government at that time there was always governments in those days there would be the roman empire the persian empire the other governments whatever in the ottoman government. empire the ottoman empire came after that's another story for another day no. What the Quran says, oppression is worse than slaughter. So if you're in a situation where you're being oppressed, it's better to divide, die, removing that oppression from yourself than to live in the subjugation. That's what the Quran says. Yeah. So again, I ask you, if you're referring to what's happening in the world... So you're saying basically is you shouldn't live under bad people. Do you understand? Bad people doing bad things to you. If they're doing bad things to you, you should stop it. That's part of jihad. Yeah? And by even if you get killed, what's the worst that's gonna happen? No, that's really bad. What's the worst that's gonna happen if you get killed, Abba? So you just get hurt. No, what's the worst if you die? What's the oh, worst hell. they ever do to you? You die. If you die, you maybe go to hell. If you die doing jihad or doing something good, are you gonna go to hell? Oh no. The you're gonna go to Jannah, paradise, innit? Yeah. So the worst thing anyone can ever do to you as a Muslim. <laughs> Is make you go to Jannah. <laughs> do you get it? Because you're gonna oh, yeah. die and go to Jannah, innit? Hello. Yeah. yeah. So I hope you understood.
Yeah. yeah. I think you'll find every single Muslim country has been invaded. Muslim countries are not invading other people. They're being invaded. Yeah. Can you imagine China invaded America? What would the people of America do? It's a very important point what I was mentioning to you. Muslims, we said this in the other video, are always targeted. The aim is always on Muslims. And this is the Prophet Sallallahu already told us this. What did he tell us? That mm. near the end of times, near the day of judgment, Muslims will become like a plate of food. And all the people, leaders of the world will come together, all the governments will come together, politics will come together to try and destroy them. Basically eat them, basically destroy them. And they'll be able to do nothing. Just like, for example, what's happening in Palestine. All the Muslims are there. A little country yeah, is doing bad things to Muslims. But can anybody do anything to them? No. No. <laughs> they got their guns out. Wouldn't they? Or would they be, all, be occupied? No, they wouldn't. All right. So if you look at all these political situations in the world today, they're all been invaded. Even Gaza, what's been happening recently? Firing the rockets, yeah. It's always they're, Muslims they're, they're being, being oppressed. They're being cut you know, off from the world. They're being denied. They're, they're being abused. They're, they're having their land taken from them. What do you want them to do? What, what, what have they got? They've got nothing. So they have to do something. But whatever they've got within them means they've tried. Yeah? But the question is, no, look at them firing rockets. No, why are you sieging them? Show me your land. Why are you taking the olive groves off the farmers? Why are the settlers abusing Muslim neighbors and driving out? Why are taking over their houses? I don't hear this in the news. This shit, I don't see that. I don't see this. Yeah. So if you're talking about why Muslims are violent worldwide, yeah. Oh, no, most of them are. No, no, I'm not just saying. If you're talking about violence in the world, they're defending themselves. They're defending their homes. And, and unfortunately, it, we're Muslims, yeah? We're not Christians. You, you know, you, you slap our cheek yeah. and we don't give you the other one. You, you slap our cheek, we bang in the nose. Yeah, that's it. Okay. You know, so that's an important point. So in Christianity, Jesus apparently said that if someone slaps you on one cheek, you say, yeah, here's my other cheek. That's what Jesus said. Apparently, that's what the Christians believe. But we Muslims say, hell to the flip to the no. Yes? If someone slaps you, you gotta give it back to Okay? So we're not we're not Buddhists. We're not monks. Yeah, yeah? Even though to be honest, monks are now killing Muslims as you're well in certain countries. That's another story for another day. So but the main thing is that <laughs> what he's trying to say is that let's say if someone if someone kills your mom and dad, yeah? Someone takes your home and destroys it, yeah? Blows it up, yeah? Kills your brother and your sister as well. I and you're left alone. And then they don't even give you food, yeah? They say, no, we're not going to let food come to your country. We're not even going to let you gonna have... Pe There's other Muslims saying, let me feed Aisha. She's got no mother, no father, no house. Let us feed them. And the, and the, and the bad people say, no, we're not even going to let you have food. What are you going to do? I'm going to take my revenge. You're going to take revenge, baby. Yeah? So when Muslims take revenge, the terrorists, the bad people... But they didn't the prophet say when Sunday's Sunday catch People say, oh, it's Allah's religion of peace. We say this. If you want peace with Muslims, you'll have peace. If you want war with Muslims, you'll have war. It's up to you. Poor